Welcome to week 12 of the Kid and Parent Pregnancy Show. I'm Asha. The thrill of hearing your baby's heartbeat for the first time is a unique feeling. In this week's show, we will talk about listening to your baby's heartbeat for the first time. We will learn about mood swings and what makes a pregnant mother so vulnerable emotionally. Changes taking place in mother. This is often the turnaround week in your pregnancy. You may feel more energetic again from this week onwards. Your uterus will shift upwards so you will not feel the pressure on your bladder that much. Your pregnancy symptoms may still be going strong but nausea and fatigue tend to go away at the end of the first trimester. However, you may still be facing heartburns due to the expanded uterus pressing against the stomach. Did you know? A small town in Nigeria has the highest rate of twins in the world at around 45 pairs per thousand births. One theory attributes this number to the large consumption of yams. How is baby doing? Your baby's major organs and limbs continue developing. His liver and pancreas are functioning effectively. His vocal cords have started developing. His little finger and toenails start growing. The baby also moves around more, but it is still too early for you to feel these movements. Your baby's brain starts producing many hormones. The nerve cells in your baby's brain start developing and multiplying rapidly. His kidney starts producing urine. The external male and female genital A are being formed but still have some time to reach completion. Question of the week How can I avoid passive smoking at work? It is a difficult situation. In India, many companies have banned smoking in the premises, but not all. If people are smoking near you, try to get them to stop. If needed, ask your manager or employer to change your working area. Fetal Heartbeat You hear your baby's tiny heart beating using a Doppler device for the first time. This is your first real contact with your baby. This joyful moment will remain locked in your memory forever. The Doppler device is pressed on your abdomen. This device uses ultrasound technology to allow you to hear your baby's heart. You will be able to hear the fetal heartbeat from the ninth week onwards using a Doppler device. You can only hear the heartbeat from the 20th week using a regular stethoscope. Tip of the week. You should avoid lying down immediately after a meal for at least an hour to prevent heartburn. Mood Swings Do you feel you're perched up on an emotional seesaw? One moment at the high, other moment at the lowest of emotions? Well, you're not the only one having this feeling. Mood swings are quite common among pregnant women. Reasons for Mood Swings Common pregnancy symptoms like morning sickness and fatigue can leave you drained out. You're full of ideas about things to be done for your baby, but your body doesn't support it. You may find it difficult to finish your daily chores. This can leave you frustrated. Working women have to deal with their jobs as well. You're dealing with major changes in your life. It is understandable that you're on an emotional roller coaster. The hormonal changes during pregnancy also play a major role in mood swings during pregnancy. Mood swings are as normal during pregnancy as morning sickness or fatigue. Tips to tackle mood swings Do not fret over small things. Take things positively and look at the sunny side. If your dress doesn't fit, it may be a chance to get a new dress. Sleep well during the night. If sleep is disrupted, take a nap during daytime. Take adequate rest. Make yourself feel good. Uplift your mood. Go shopping. Buy for baby and yourself. Set aside some time for meditation, yoga or prayers. Focus on eating healthy and nutritious food. Take a stroll down the street 
or a short vacation. Listen to some good music or songs. Try reading some magazines or books. Most women feel mood swings go down in second trimester. If you still find yourself on a roller coaster of emotions for over two weeks, you must consult with your doctor. Words of Wisdom Have a nice week laughing over this lovely thought by Leo J. Burke. People who say they sleep like a baby usually don't have one.